The Tuesday, February 19th meeting of the County Board is called to order. Uh, was the meeting properly posted? Uh, yes, it was. It was posted on February 13th at 4.15 in the afternoon. We are in compliance with the open meeting law. Would everyone join me in the Pledge of Allegiance? Would everyone press their ten button? <laughs> now would everybody press your I button? Yeah. All 25 supervisors are present. Thank you. Would someone move for approval of the January 15th minutes? Supervisor Winkle. Move to approve this meal, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Supervisor Winkle. Supervisor Glavin. Second, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Supervisor Glavin. Are there any additions or corrections to the minutes? All those in favor, please press your I button. Oppose the nay. It is unanimous. Thank you. Next presentations. Adam Payne. Good evening. Good evening. I have two daughters in high school, a sophomore and a senior. And my sophomore in particular has participated in sports, whether it's track or cross country and currently basketball. And they just played Oosburg. And what is in the water in Oosburg? I mean, you say Oosburg, and it's equivalent to excellence. It's incredible, the track record in that community, and not only the outstanding achievements academically, but every time you talk sports, Oosburg always seems to be right up at the top. And as you know, last year around this time, we had the pleasure of honoring and acknowledging tremendous an outstanding achievement and tonight we get to do so again so this evening in the back of the room if you haven't noticed we have a very sharp looking group we have the Oosburg High Flying Dutchman the 2012 WAA Volleyball Division 3 state champions <laughs> state champions two consecutive years would coach Gripink and the team please come forward and their view is about to change dramatically up here. Thanks, Adam. How about, yeah, just start up, move right on down here, and then you can just be right in front. It's okay, you can stand in front of us. Supervisors representing this in in area include Devin Lemieux, Al Bosman, and Chairman Roger Destrudi. And this has got to be the pride of the community right now because these young ladies, again, not once but twice now, have brought home a Division Three state championship. Uh, the coach was kind enough to share a little background with me. And let me, let me uh, set the stage before I turn it over to the chairman and, and the coach to say a few words. This year, the Eusburg volleyball team finished their season with a second consecutive state championship, an overall record of 43 and four. 43 and four. They were perfect in conference play with an 18 and 0 record, and they won four tournaments, including the Sheboygan County Tournament. Coach Gripnick wrote the following note about the team and their season. Grip, gripping. Thank you, Coach. From this point forward, it'll be Coach. 
Coach wrote the following note about their team and their season. Our experiences over the last two years have taught us that it is very hard to win any state championship. You have to rise to challenges that test you considerably, often beyond what you are expecting. This is true regardless of the talent your team possesses. You almost always have to beat a team or two that is your equal in many ways. This year we had to beat two teams in the tournament series, sectional final and state finals. They were our equals, or maybe even a little better at times. I simply don't think this group would have made it happen for a second year without their incredible drive and competitiveness that allowed them to constantly push forward and improve. We knew from the very beginning of the season that this team was talented. But if they would not have improved nearly every single week during the season to allow them to, to perform at a very high level when it was needed the most, they would not have been able to win the sectional final against Racine St. Catharines, nor would they have been able to play well enough in the state championship to beat O'Connell. The coach said, I am so proud of them for their mature perspective and constant drive to, to get better. And I hope we can replicate that approach next year because we are going to be in a very similar position. Could they be back a third year? If Chairman Roger Testrudi could please come forward, as well as Supervisors Al Bosman and Devin Lemieux to hand out the certificates. So I'll turn this over to the chair, and then he'll turn it over to the coach to say a few words. First one is Shannon Bolt. Megan Daney. Brittany Gabriels. Gary Hartman, Jaden Veronica. Abby Hitner. Miranda Hubrex, Maria Hubrex, Natalie Minen, Jocelyn Stamper. Abby Vinstelli. Coach Scott Grapey. Manager Sabrina Lammers. Freshman coach Amy Guth. couple of them that weren't able to make it tonight, Maddie Decker, and Janice Verveldi. Jolie Verveldi, Austin Wolterdink. JV coach Ashley Holzer. Would you join me in a round of applause for <laughs>
Coach, would you, would you say a few words, Coach? Well, first of all, uh, thank you very much to the county board for having us here tonight and recognizing uh, the girls' state championship. It really means a lot to us that you would take time from your busy schedule to recognize us in this way, and we're really honored, so thank you. Uh, just a, a little bit more background to add to Adam's comments. Uh, it might surprise you to know that uh, of all the girls that were here last year, uh, half of them returned, and half of the faces are brand new faces. Uh, last year's experience was completely different than this year's experience. The, uh, uh, the first year we won the state championship, it came as a year of exceeding expectations and a huge surprise. It was a very nice surprise. This year was exactly the opposite. Expectations were extremely high, um, and they were a bit of a burden at times. Um, when uh, Just an example of that is when the first coaches poll came out, these girls were rated number one, and with each week that passed throughout the season, they retained that number one ranking, and, and that was there uh, out in front of us. Uh, most of them know that as a coach, I'm not really into state rankings. State rankings are kind of about talk. They're kind of about hype. Uh, and out on the volleyball court or in any athletic situation, it's really about executing and getting the job done. When you're a coach and you see those rankings, they're, they're disturbing in a way because you worry about what it'll do to our heads. It'll do, worry about what it'll do to our complacence. But one of the things that I just wanted to share about uh, these guys is that just never happened. They were humble. They were driven. They just wanted to be better. They didn't let that kind of hype from the exterior uh, keep them from getting better every week. And to me, that's exactly why they were able to accomplish what they were. And I do say it a little bit to them halfway through the winter as a reminder as we fl reflect back on this past year, that was the secret to success for us, and it may be next year as well. And it would be great to be back here again next year. <laughs> Thanks again for having us. We appreciate it. As you know, as you know, you're welcome to stay for the rest of the meeting. Although we don't blame you if you want to get rolling, but. <laughs> Supervisor Lemmy, you in particular wanted me to share, as well as the other two supervisors that represent your district. Those certificates are good for 50% off a Lakeshore Weekly ad. <laughs> and, and if you see Supervisor Bosman or Supervisor Destruti, they're also good for a lunch up to $10. So enjoy. Are there any public addresses this evening? There are none. Letters, communications, and announcements? There's a communication from Russ County Board of Supervisors supporting same-day voter registration. That will be received for information. Next is the County Administrator's Report. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. February has been a, I guess you would, what you would say is kind of a melancholy or sentimental time in my life and in my family's life. As I mentioned, you know, seeing these young ladies and, and their uh, accomplishments, my, uh, my children all turned 20, 18, and 16 in the last couple of months. Two of my daughters had her, their birthdays this month, so 18 and 16. I turned 46 this month. When I started this job 14 years ago, I was 32, uh, the youngest county administrative coordinator at that time in the state. My children were two, four, and six, and my wife this weekend took out the videotapes and we watched uh, some old ho home videos of the children and the first rental we were in Plymouth and the snowstorm that came, I think, what was it, January 1st or 2nd of 1999, where it was just an incredible snowstorm and we just got moved in before that. But uh, the last month, I, I find myself thinking about my life here and, and, and how fortunate my family has been to live and go to school and, and uh, just be part of this community. My grandmother, my grandmother Payne, turns 97 this month, celebrating her birthday. 
as many of you may know, but some of you perhaps not, you know, my parents and grandparents and great-grandparents were all born and raised in this community. I grew up largely in Stevens Point, married my uh, high school sweetheart. We went to school in Madison. We lived there for 13 years, and then we moved here 14 years ago. And as I reflect on celebrating success and how fortunate we've been to live in this community and that I've got two daughters on the threshold of graduating from high school. Uh, you just want to bottle those moments that much more. You know, my youngest now is a sophomore, going to be a junior. And you just want to want to bottle that every basketball game and every achievement. It's just going so quickly. And I want to thank the county board and the team that we have in place and just let you know how much I appreciate the opportunity to work for you and to work with you. When we look at our track record, uh, we've got a few state titles on the mantle. Uh, we've got a pretty good track record here, and uh, one that certainly I'd put up against any county in the state. And it just doesn't happen if you don't have good people in place, if you don't have thoughtful, caring county board supervisors who put in the time and the effort, as you do. I'm so proud of the fact that my former direct supervisor, Chairman Mike Vandersteen, is running for mayor. You know, he provided outstanding leadership here, and he'd, he'd like to do the same at the city. And whether that ultimately happens, I don't know. But I certainly wish him well, and I'm, I'm, I'm proud that he's looking to provide that kind of leadership. Chairman Roger Destruti and Vice Chairman Tom Wagner have been just such an excellent team and their role as chair and vice chair the last year. And as I think about all of our liaison committees, and certainly the department heads, some of which that are here this evening, uh, we've seen some changes. we got a new inspector from the sheriff's department, and I think inspector, former inspector Brock Barr will be here next month to, to acknowledge him and honor his years of service. Uh, we have a relatively new planning director yet, Aaron Brault, who's in the back, who has done tremendous things with our River Harbor and our non-motorized program. Terry Hansen, our finance director, who's with us this evening, who has just made good things happen with the budget and the IT. And I see Mr. Bob Harker with us this evening. And Bob, if you haven't read in the paper, has chose to retire and talk about a guy who's going out on top and has made has remarkable improvements at the museum. And I can't thank you enough, Mr. Harker, for your leadership and your good work. So this evening is not a heavy report. Next month will be. We'll be talking about the governor's budget implications. We'll be talking about our year-end financials and how we performed. We're already starting to work on our 2014 budget. And we always have uh, new initiatives in play. And hopefully we'll get to acknowledge and honor some folks who have left. But I want to thank you as a board and everyone in this room for what has been for me just a wonderful 14-year run. I'm hoping that I'm going to be here, here with you for some time yet. But when it, when it comes to our achievements, it really boils down to teamwork and just good people. And sometimes I think those of us in this room, we, we may take for granted just a little bit how well we do or problem solving, we move from one problem to the next, but I encourage all of you, in fact, I challenge all of you to time to time take a look in the mirror and say, you know what, I'm helping make good things happen, and I'm part of a good team, and I'm proud to be on the Sheboygan County Board and part of this organization. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you for that report. On to considerations of committee reports. First, the executive committee. Uh, we, the executive committee, to whom was referred resolution number 20 regarding carryover of unexpended 2012 appro appropriations to 2013, have considered the same and recommended the resolution to be adopted, respectfully submitted this 19th day of February 2013. Signed, Supervisors Testruti, Wagner, Gehring, Feider, and Marthenzi. Supervisor Gehring. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I move for adoption of resolution number 20. Thank you, Supervisor Gehring. Supervisor Lemieux. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'll second that motion. Thank you, Supervisor Lemieux. 
Is there any discussion on resolution number 20? Hearing none, all those in favor, press your I button, oppose the nay button. Motion carries unanimously. Next, we have consideration of committee reports from the Finance Committee. We, the Finance Committee, to whom was referred resolution number 21 regarding authorizing the Human Resources Committee to enter into labor contract with Sheboygan County Law Enforcement Employees Association, WPPA LEER, have considered the same and recommend amending the resolution as follows. Line 16, Article 10, revised so as to provide across the board annual pay increases of 3% effective January 1, 2013, 2.5% effective January 1, 2014, and 2% effective January 1, 2015. Line 21, strike January 1, 2013, and replace with March 3, 2013. Line 25, strike all verbiage after contributions, and as so amended, recommend adoption, respectfully submitted this 19th day of February 2013. Signed Supervisors Gearing, Wagner, Lemahue, and Vandersteen. Supervisor Lemieux. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I move to adopt per report of the Finance Committee. Thank you, Supervisor Lemieux. Supervisor Wegman. Yes, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I will second that motion. Thank you, Supervisor Wakeman. Supervisor Lemio. Mr. Chairman, I move to further amend to change the March 3rd date to March 10. Thank you, Supervisor Lemio. Supervisor Marthenzi. I'll second that motion. Thank you, Supervisor Marthenzi. Is there any discussion to resolution number 21 and specific to the amendment? All those in favor of the amendment, amendment press your I button, oppose the nay. Amendment approves unanimously. Thank you. Back to the original uh, motion before us. Any discussion? Supervisor Epping. Thank you, Chairman Distorti. I guess I'd just like to ask the members of the HR committee or the finance committee, um, because of the recovering economic times, it does seem to me that a 3% increase and Two and a half percent increase seems to be um, a pretty good increase, and I was just wondering what the rationale for making those numbers as such. Thank you, Supervisor Lemio. Uh, would you care to uh, respond to that? I, I certainly will, Mr. Chairman. Um, Supervisor Epping, we're sort of when we went into this negotiations, we're sort of in a new atmosphere under Act Ten. <laughs> being as only law enforcement are subject to arbitration anymore. Um, we didn't have a whole lot of other comparables and, and other municipalities and agreements, <coughs> excuse me, to work off of. Um, a lot of the agreements that we did see out there, the uh, raises involved equal the retirement contributions, such as what the city of Sheboygan did last year or the year before. They'd give a 2% raise and then 2% contributions. Um, those were the only agreements that we saw. With the agreement that we have here in hand, it, it is a 3% raise the first year, but they're paying their full retirement contribution portion. So it's actually a uh, roughly 3.5% cut to their pay starting March 10. Uh, in 2014, it is another 2.5% raise, but that's still 1% below where they were at in 2012. And then the 2%, the final year, once you factor in a family plan for health insurance, their net take-home pay is going to be roughly the same as, as what it was in 2012. So that being said, we, this is, we haven't seen an agreement like there 
out there this good in any of our comparables. A lot of other counties are going to arbitration. They're not even talking about WRS con contributions. Uh, counties are holding out for 0% raises with status quo and WRS, so we feel that we're sort of leading the way with a deal that we haven't even seen out there. Finalize the thought. I, th I think the, uh, the union actually stepped up on this one because they're taking a 3.5% pay hit, and we haven't seen any other union voluntarily taking a, a net pay cut. Thank you, Supervisor Lemieux. Is there any further discussion? Supervisor Epping? Um, I'd like to thank uh, Supervisor Lemieux for that explanation. It makes perfect sense, and it does provide us with answers for, for, um, for why increases are, are given at, at this point. And uh, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. Thank you, Supervisor Epping. Seeing no more lights, all those in favor, press your I button, oppose nay. <laughs> Motion carries unanimously. Resolution number 22. Uh, we, the Finance Committee, to whom was referred resolution number 22 regarding authorizing Sheboygan County Planning and Conservation Department to apply for county conservation aids, have considered the same and recommend the resolution be adopted. Respectfully submitted this 19th day of February 2013. Signed Supervisors Gehring, Wagner, Lemahue, and Vandersteen. Supervisor Gehring. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I move for adoption of resolution number 22. Thank you, Supervisor Gehring. Supervisor Lemieux. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'll support that motion. Thank you, Supervisor Lemieux. Is there any discussion on resolution number 22? All those in favor, press your I button, oppose the nay. Motion carries unanimously. Thank you. I'll turn the gavel over to Vice Chairman Wagner. Thank you, Chairman Tristruti. Um, resolutions introduced. Resolution number 23. Resolution number 23 regarding authorizing the Human Resources Committee to enter into labor contract with Sheboygan County Health and Human Services, Social Workers Local number 437, AFSCME, AFL-CIO. Supervisor Lemahieu. Thank you, Mr. Vice Chairman. I move to pull. As a result of pulling this, I uh, will help. The 2% the is already in the budget for the year, and it will help employee morale and also help in billing of our clients. Thank you, Supervisor Lemahieu. Supervisor Dan. Do you need a second on that? Mr. Thank Chairman, you, Supervisor Dan. Like second that. Thank you. I'm sorry. <coughs> All those in favor of pulling the resolution, please press your I button. Those opposed, nay. Motion carries unanimously. Thank you. Now on the motion itself. Supervisor Abler. Move to approve resolution 23. Thank you, Supervisor Abler. Supervisor Mathenzi. Second the motion. Thank you, Supervisor Mathenzi. Is there any discussion? Supervisor Winkle. Okay, seeing no more lights. All those in favor vote aye. Those opposed, nay. And motion carries unanimously. Thank you. Resolution number 24. Number 24, regarding authorizing the Human Resources Committee to enter into a labor contract with Sheboygan County Highway Department employees, local 1749, AFSCME, AFL-CIO. Supervisor Lemieux. 
Thank you, Mr. Vice Chairman. I will move to pull Resolution 24 for the same reasons given on the previous resolution. Thank you, Supervisor Lemieux. Supervisor Damp. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I will second. Supervisor Damp. All those in favor of pulling the resolution, vote aye. Those opposed, nay. Motion to pull is approved unanimously. Thank you. Now on the original resolution, Supervisor Lemieux. Thank you, Mr. Vice Chairman. I'll move to adopt. Thank you, Supervisor Lemieux. Supervisor Abler. I support that motion for adoption. Thank you, Supervisor Abler. Is there any discussion? Seeing no lights, all those in favor, vote aye. Those opposed, nay. Motion carries unanimously. Thank you. Resolution number 25. Number 25 regarding designating April 15th through April 19th, 2013 as Work Zone Safety Awareness Week. Resolution number 25 will be referred to the Executive Committee. Supervisor Bemis. I'm glad to see you weren't sitting here from the last month. I move we adjourn. Thank you, Supervisor Bemis. Supervisor Winkle. Second. Thank you, Supervisor Winkle. All those in favor, please press your I button. Motion carries unanimously. We are adjourned. Stand adjourned.